Hey, Ron here from Military Images Magazine with a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. You know, yesterday, April 9th, was the 158th anniversary of the surrender by General Lee to General Grant at Appomattox. And you know, we spend a lot of time talking about that event, as we should. It's a momentous event in history. We also talk about, we think about it in terms of the end of the war, which it wasn't. There was still a lot of activity going on throughout the southern states, and the armies were still going at it for quite a while afterwards. Um, so you have to wonder, what about today, April 10th? It's the 158th anniversary of the day after Appomattox. What was going on? Well, for the individual pictured here, a regular army captain named Adam Kramer, he was still on the trail of Confederates, soldiers who were fleeing Richmond in the wake of the evacuation of the city, in the wake of the surrender at Appomattox, the countryside in Virginia and North Carolina was uh, was cr crowded in some ways with small bands of Confederate troops who were trying to get to Joe Johnston's army in North Carolina. And so it was Kramer's job to help stop that from happening. So April 10th, 1865, he's in action. So I want to tell you a little bit about this little story. It's, a, it's an unknown story of the war, but I think it's representative and illustrative of what was going on in the immediate aftermath after the Confederate capital was abandoned. A big chunk of the Confederate army in the field was surrendered at Appomattox. And here you've got something of a cleanup operation going on by Kramer. So Kramer and his battalion of cavalrymen mounted up and raced to the North Carolina countryside on the evening of April 10th, 1865. The mission cut off the retreating Confederate soldiers from Richmond and elsewhere. He and his troopers, about 86 strong, took one of those, and this is a great quote, took one of those all night rides with which we had by that time become very familiar but which we never learn to love. That's a quote from one of Kramer's fellow officers. So story goes on. Kramer commands the men with the confidence of a seasoned veteran. He's German by birth. He's a Pennsylvanian by choice. He begins his military service in 1857 as a private in the second U.S. Dragoons. He masters the art of soldiering on the Great Plains at Fort Bridger, Fort Laramie, and he heads back east after the Civil War begins. In the summer of 1862, he joins the 15th Pennsylvania Cavalry, and then over the next two years, he advances through the ranks from sergeant to captain, and finally, commander of Company M of the 15th. He's leading men in various operations to the south. Now, on April 10, 65, during this nighttime ride to North Carolina, it sort of gives you a good idea of what Kramer was like as a soldier. As he and his battalion approached the little village of Jamestown, it's a community near Greensboro, Kramer detaches part of his force to a railroad depot. The troopers, he's, his troopers, drive off the Confederate guards and capture cars and supplies, which they set on fire and burn. Meanwhile, Kramer and the larger part of his force ride through the morning fog and capture a railroad bridge over the deep river, and then they set that on fire. So they've burned supplies. They have destroyed a bridge to prevent the Confederates from advancing. Kramer's crew continues a destructive raid, lighting up a gun factory in the town of Florence and burning more supplies. Kramer is proud of his success and his battalion's work. And his after action report, he says, quote, I think our men cannot be indicted of egotism in regarding this as a very credible affair. 
that's pretty much the last major action that Kramer is involved in around the surrender at Appomattox and the fleeing of Confederate soldiers and the government from Richmond. But Kramer's career isn't over. He continues on in the regular army. He retires as a major with the 6th U.S. Cavalry in 1897 and dies four years later. Now, a little detail about his burial place. If you go to Arlington, Virginia, and visit Arlington National Cemetery, go to Section 3, Plot 1301, and you can pay your respects to Captain Adam Kramer. So that's it for today's episode of Life on the Civil Research Trail. We'll see you next time. Bye.